For those of you who know who James Wright is, he has a YouTube channel called Wood by Wright, and I'll leave a card above to that. Uh, he also hosts a podcast called The Creators Collective, along with uh, Zach Herberholtz and William Walker. And that's a pretty decent podcast. I listen to it a lot. If you follow him at all, you know that he's embarking upon a glue test where he's going to test 30 different glues and four different kinds of glue joints. And he has approached me to build the joint breaking device. That's today's project. He told me I could build it from whatever was laying around as long as it would withstand 2,000 pounds of pressure. This six inch steel channel should do just fine. When I was cutting up the steel here, um, I had it in mind he wanted it 10 inches wide on the inside and 10 and 3 quarter inches tall and uh, that's the length of the pieces I cut. Now here's what I didn't take into account is the, the height of the bottom piece. So now these are actually, if I were to weld them like that, <clears throat> it's too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right in here and I made these gusset plates and um, I'm going to just weld those on to the corners and that's going to nail these, these things together. Okay, that's, that's good. <clears throat> now I need to weld these on. He said plus or minus a 64th. I'm there. Okay, so this is what he asked for, and the only other piece remaining is the, uh, the part that attaches the jack and strain gauge to the wood test piece. And what he said that was, was a uh, half inch, 20 thread per inch bolt, one inch long. I have one here, it's an inch and a half long. I'm just going to shorten it up. I know exactly where this bolt came from, too. It's off that machine I disassembled a couple of months back, and I'll leave a card to that video up in the corner. Now, the last thing this needs is the interface between the wood and the strain gauge, which will be mounted on top of the bottle jack. Now, the interior dimensions of this coupling needs to be a, a rectangle, three quarters of an inch by inch and a quarter tall, and then have this bolt on the bottom of it, and it needs to be one inch deep. Now, he did specify that the uh, rounded edge of hot rolled steel is not sharp enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it out of this inch and a quarter flat bar that has that rounded edge. Then I'm going to come in and grind an eighth of an inch off each side of it until it's only one inch and it'll have a nice sharp edge. And I think he'll be happy with that. That's good. All that remains is to grind this so it's only one inch deep in this direction. Well, I think James is going to be really happy with this. All that remains is to prime it, paint it, and ship it off to him. It'll be interesting to see if he repaints it in his shop color, which is a pretty cool shade of blue. Anyway, to see the result of that endeavor, check James's channel up here. Or find me on Instagram. My name there is wildman.tech. So that's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.